In the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, a student is using a drone to tackle one of the city's biggest problems and that's air pollution. How is the student managing to do this? What is the plan? Our next report telling you all about it. Situated in deep valley and surrounded by high mountains, Sarajevo has historically suffered from high concentrations of fog, smog and dust. Frustrated by years of inaction to solve the smog problem in his hometown, a Bosnian student decided to look for an inexpensive way to make the air of Sarajevo more breathable. Damir Hanik is a 22-year-old mechanical engineering student and also a drone pilot. Thanks to the 3D printed yellow containers, he spread silver iodide to seed the clouds above the city. I wanted to help my city because year after year I am seeing people dear to me, close to me, my friends, friends of my friends, my professor, my colleagues, parents suffering from lung and cardiovascular problems. And by analyzing the situation, I realized that smog was the main cause of those health problems. Well, silver iodide exists naturally in the environment at low concentrations and is not known to be harmful to humans or the wildlife. When infused into the clouds, it causes ice crystals to form and water to condense into rain or snow. And Hanek believes that once the rain or snow with their load of dangerous particulate matter hits the ground, it should suffice to reduce the smog. But at his scale, Hanek's drone is unlikely to have a big impact. As the situation in the capital has worsened over the past few decades, the proliferation of tall buildings that block airflow, the use of old and highly polluting vehicles and the increased use of coal for heating in the city. According to the UN Environment Programme, Sarajevo residents are exposed to some of the highest concentrations of air pollution in Europe, which has reduced the life expectancy by 1.3 years. I welcome every idea proposed by a young person, including the solution with drones. But drones are too small for the size of our problem. For silver iodide to make a difference, it would need to be a Herculean effort, by which I mean we'd need a fleet of Hercules. We'll need a fleet of Hercules military cargo planes filled with it. According to experts, the solution for tackling air pollution would need to include the renovation of buildings to improve their energy efficiency. Not only this, it should also include switching to renewable energy sources and reducing the air pollution from vehicles by helping people replace their old polluting cars with new low emission ones. Although achieving these goals would take a decade and cost around $10 million per year, for the time being, one can only hope that every little step to combat the issue of air pollution helps in improving the air quality. We report Beyond World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.